Yeah, what up, people? Do not think I've been making another GTA video for a while, but over the last couple months, I've been getting more and more comments on my bunker and facility videos, people asking which one is better. I'm gonna assume that's because another uh, GTA update is coming out soon, and people are looking for money. So, instead of answering all those comments one by one, I'm just gonna do a fucking video. <laughs> Alright, so, bunker versus the facility, which one should you buy? You know, as usual, I don't make you wait to the end. I am all for team facility. But that does not mean, uh, you know, I'm going to make this video geared towards the facility only because I'm biased towards that. It's going to be a fair comparison. This is only going to be the major uh, pros and cons. If you want every, you know, small little detail, everything you could possibly know about the bunker or the facility, you're going to have to go and watch uh, the full reviews that I did for both those uh, businesses. Cards will be there in the top right for that playlist. Alright, so major pros and cons between the bunker and the facility. So starting off with the bunker, the cheapest one you can buy is 1.1 million and the facility is 1.2 million. Now I think a lot of people got confused because in my facility review, I bought the one that was 1.6 million. You do not have to buy that one, the cheapest one costs 1.2 mil. I bought that one because I hate doing a lot of fucking driving in GTA. So yeah, those are the two cost of the cheapest bunker and facility so going into the uh bunker in terms of how much it's going to cost you all together the total payout for the bunker is 1.05 million but in order to get that you have to pay for upgrades and the total for those three upgrades is going to cost you 1.15 million yeah that, that's a lot so these three upgrades, one is a security upgrade. Uh, what this means is this is gonna stop people from breaking into your bunker. If you don't have this, one day you'll randomly get a text from the agent saying people have broken into your bunker stealing your shit. And you're gonna have to stop whatever you're doing and get there before they steal all of your product. Uh, second upgrade is gonna be a speed upgrade. Um, you need supplies to make product and it takes a long time to fill up that product bar. If you have this upgrade, it does it. It, you know cuts it down by half the time and the last upgrade is so you get more money that is how you get the one million dollars uh, payout if you don't have this the most you can make from the bunker is I think between five and seven hundred thousand all right switching over to the facility well it doesn't have any upgrades so that's that all right <laughs> back over to the bunker um, so the way this works you need to steal supplies in order to fill up the bar uh, the supply bar when that's full you're gonna make uh, product and then when the product bar is full then you sell it that's how the bunker works um, but stealing supplies the, you know is all over the city and this is only in free roam by the way you cannot do this in any private sessions if you don't want to steal supplies you can just pay 75,000 supplies will be delivered to your bunker and the bar is gonna just automatically fill up uh, the facility however well this kind of works like the heist from the apartment so there are three acts um, meanwhile you don't have to pay for upgrades for the facility you do have to pay for the setup cost for each act so act one is gonna cost you 61,000 act two is gonna cost you 95 and act three is gonna cost you 120 now the payouts for each of these heists act one is gonna be 650 act two is gonna be 950 and act three is gonna be a 1.2 million payout and that is on the hard difficulty not normal now for each of these acts, there are setup missions uh, which have to be completed in free roam. You can't do these in a private session, but there are also actual missions which you can start from your own private session. So for act one is three setup missions, three actual missions. Act two is gonna be four setups, four actual missions, and act three is gonna be five setups and five actual missions. So total payout from the facility is gonna be 2.8 million. Now here's where uh, the divide starts. This is where I start to prefer the facility more than the bunker. So the first point for I guess a pro is gonna go towards the bunker because total payout, although it's less, that 1.05 is all yours. Your associates are gonna get probably like 10 or 20,000, but that one mil is you, the player that owns the bunker. In terms of the facility though, uh, this 2.8 mil get split between you and whoever else does uh, the heist with you. The only way that you would make that 2.8 million uh, for yourself is if you do a 100 to 0 split. You take 100 and whoever else helps you complete it gets 0 and I don't know anyone that would go for that. 
So yeah, total pale in terms of how much you can actually make the bunker, you will make more. So yeah, I'll give the bunker that part, but everything else, I prefer the facility. Here's why. Everything that you do for the bunker has to be in an open session. You can't do anything in a private lobby, which means that unless you have friends with you that, you know, can give you a little security, if you have to be stealing uh, resupplies solo, I guarantee there are going to be assholes online that will fuck with you and make your job harder than it is. And this doesn't just go for resupplies, this actually goes for the delivery as well. Delivery has to be an open session and you actually need three to four people. You cannot do deliveries by yourself because they're going to give you three or four vehicles. So you have to have friends to help you. Again, people online can come and blow up your shit and that $1 million will be gone blink of an eye if someone has an oppressor or a jet or some shit. The facility, on the other hand, is actual missions. These can be done in private sessions, and basically there's no one there to fuck with you. You can die as much as you want and just hit restart. Also, you don't need as many people. For the setup missions, you can actually do those solo, even though those have to be done in an open lobby, you can still do them by yourself. For the actual missions and the final heist, you just need two people. You don't have to be a full four people like the regular heist, you just need you, one other person, and that's also a plus because that's, you know, split for less money between four people. Oh, I also forgot, it works like that for the uh, the bunker as well. If you're doing resupply missions solo, it's gonna take you a lot longer to fill up the stock bar. If you have three or four people stealing uh, stock all at once, the bar is gonna fill up, uh, I think it's either halfway or it's gonna fill up the whole bar. So basically the bunker requires more manpower. So quick recap. Cheapest bunker is going to cost you 1.1. Cheapest facility is going to cost you 1.2. Bunker, does it need upgrades? Yes, total free upgrades is 1.15 million. Facility does not need upgrades. However, you do have to pay for the cost of each heist setup. Total cost 276. And yes, you do have to pay a setup cost every single time you want to repeat a heist. The bunker upgrades are one-time fees, pay them once, never again. Total payouts for the bunker, 1.05 million. Total payout for the facilities, 2.8 million. But this depends on uh, the split between you and how many people are playing. Bunker, everything has to be done in an open session. Uh, for the facility, only the setups have to be done in an open session. Everything else you can do in a private session. So there you go, and again, I prefer the facility, but like I said at the beginning, those are just the major pros and cons, left out a lot of small details. So if you want full reviews of the bunker or the facility, check the comment section. I'm gonna leave links to those reviews that I did. Uh, I guess a final tip, since people are looking for ways to make money, since new updates coming, if you have all the biker businesses, uh, the CEO businesses and whatever, if you don't have a nightclub, I suggest you look into that and also the terabyte truck. I will also leave links to those reviews that I did uh, in the comment section. New updates coming out either I would predict end of this month, early August, if it's a business, uh, it's a casino that they're bringing out. If that's a business you can own, then you can look out for a video. I will be doing a review on it. But yeah, that's the end of this video. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you. If it was, you can leave a like, uh, comment down below which one you prefer, facility or bunker, and subscribe for more GTA 5 content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.